Welcome back to Gears and Gaming, y'all. Today, we've got an interesting car show for you. This is the Hot Wheels car show uh, here in Atlanta. They, they travel around um, and, and you know people can bring their vehicles. And I believe, uh, isn't it the winners that get, uh, get a chance to have their cars turn into a Hot Wheel? Yes. Uh, yeah, how many, uh, how many winners are, are in this show? Unknown. Unknown? Know. Anyway. I only learned about this the other day. Well, anyway, I don't know too much about it. I found out about this kind of short notice. Yeah. But, uh, for, you know, if you, you get your car chosen, I guess, by the judges, you, know, you get your car to be uh, turned into a Hot Wheels, which is pretty cool. You can then go to the store and go buy it. But anyway, um, I guess I'm out here. I'm about to start walking through the show. Um, but I uh, saw this cool uh, BRZ over here, and I wanted to go, uh, go ahead and introduce the owner because I thought it was pretty cool. So anyway, uh, what's your name again? My name's Charlie. Yeah, and uh, what's, uh, what's your ride? So this is a 2018 Subaru BRZ TS. It is number 86 out of 500 produced in the 2018 model year. Uh, it is Subaru's STI version without the turbo. That would cause disruptions with WRX and STI sales. Oh, competition. Yes, sir. Yeah. So this is their essentially track model as they describe it. Out of the box, you can take it to the track and have a good old time as compared to the regular BRZs, 86s, and FRSs. Oh, nice. How, how did you, were you able to tune out the torque dip with the turbo? Yes, sir. So this has a full race turbo kit. It utilizes a Borg Warner 7163 twin scroll. It is pushing around 400 wheel on E85. It's got flex fuel. It's got all the knickknacks for, for fueling. Uh, full suspension work. Properly mounted splitter. You can stand on it. It's from Ferris Engineering. You are. It has some really crappy fat work done to it as you can see by the uh, <laughs> the intercooler ducting hey man whatever but works man works. you know if you're making power they only see in your rear view right exactly <laughs> exactly i just moved down here from raleigh north carolina so i'm excited to be going to road atlanta after this i'm heading down there for some jay zella track days cool that sounds awesome man so yeah. is this mainly set up for track yeah well this is mainly for like back roads but it does have track use nice so i i, I do enjoy the toge i do enjoy track days uh, so I, I just wanted something that I could get in, drive, and hopefully not blow up. Oh, sounds good. I'm going to go ahead and do a little tour around the car. Of course. It's got the TRD fender fins on it, uh, paint match to Bristol Black Silica. Nice. So all the arrow that I can grab yeah. from OEM spec. Nice. Here, part of it. Maybe someone could stick those uh, on their uh, Supra to take care of the buffering. <laughs> uh, so Varus Engineering, the company that I, I work with, they produce a buffeting tool, or a uh, a little stick on that goes on the window mm -hmm. that takes away the buffeting. Nice. So it essentially fixes that issue. Nice. That's a factory wing or aftermarket? That is a factory TS wing. The Subaru S209 also comes with one, albeit with a bit of a wider stance to it. This mm -hmm. one is specific for the TS. It has Tom's taillights, which in my opinion are the best taillights for this car. It's got a JDL cap back. So it has a pleasant turn or a pleasant noise, but without being too loud. Yeah, I see that. That's nice. I like That's the blue tip. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, factory wheels currently. I did receive a little bit of uh, damage. The outside the mirror. Hey, you ain't picking up some damage. You ain't driving. Exactly. I'll be picking up a, a replacement set from a company in in Atlanta on Monday. All right, well, well, it looks good. I'm going to go ahead and head out and check out the rest of the show. But once again, thank you, Charlie, for showing me your, uh, your sweet ride. And uh, I'll, like I said, check out my channel. It'll be up uh, probably Sunday. Yep, make sure you hit like, subscribe, hit that, that bell for notifications. That's right, Gears and Gaming, yo. Gears and Gaming. Oh, uh, we got a really, really sweet wide body MR2, first gen. Oh, this thing is sweet. Holy crap. Look at this thing. Oh yeah, they definitely need to make this into a Hot Wheel. <laughs> Wide body fenders. I got a buddy of mine back in, uh, back in the day that had one of these and he would love to see this thing. Super clean. Absolutely amazing. Oh wow, I like the, uh, the 
the single exit exhaust here. <laughs> nice. Woo. Super clean. Nice. We've got a lot of really interesting cars here, y'all. I don't know what this is, but it is absolutely super customized. And uh, definitely falls into the category of Hot Wheels for sure. Absolutely. That's a Hot Wheels car. It is. Nice. I like the retro uh, World War II images on here. It looks nice. Oh, that's a sweet interior. Super clean. <laughs> and look what we got down here. What? It's turbocharged, y'all. Holy moly. Look at that. Got the exhaust all wrapped. Wow. Look at the size of that turbo. That's insane. <laughs> oh, I wonder what it's like driving this thing. Super cool car. Oh, we got the Bucky's on here. Y'all don't know, it's one of the biggest gas stations in the world, at least in the United States. Y'all haven't visited Bucky's yet? Well, you know, you're missing out. Look at this interior, man. Air ride. Got a custom bike in here as well, too. Wow. That's super nice. All right, Gears and Game fam, this is a super custom Beetle. And I mean custom, I don't think it gets more custom than this. Good Lord. That is super low, super wide body. Absolutely fantastic. I think it is too. I mean, that's a lot of custom work. Wow, that's mean looking. Wow. <laughs> That looks like Space Age for a Beetle. Wow, that is fantastic. Wow. It's like what a Beetle should look like in, say, another 20 years. Got race seats, roll bar, and a Volvo steering wheel. Interesting. <laughs> Wow, look at the suspension work on this. Wow. Super cool. And of course, it's boosted. Look at the width of this thing. Good God. Sorry about the silence here, y'all, but uh, they were playing copyrighted music in the background, and well, you know, uh, <laughs> I don't want to get in any trouble with YouTube. Uh, and, uh, you know, get anything demonetized, even though I'm not monetized, but yeah, I thought I'd just cut out to future proof the video. So, uh, yeah, sorry about the silence. Really interesting Nissan Juke here with off road special, big tires. Nice. This, if anything, is definitely a Hot Wheels car. I don't know. What kid would love to have something like this to play around in the dirt? <laughs> yeah. Nice. What do you think? This car for you? You'd like something like this? Yes, no, maybe? Yeah, I like it. Oh, yeah, the car, not the camera. <laughs> the camera, too, if you like, you can make your own videos with your family and everything. It's really easy to use. Here, give it a try. Hey, son. I like this car right here. Hey, it's nice. Right. It's real nice. I believe this used to be a Humvee. <laughs> I think uh, used to be. Used to be. What do you think, ladies? You rock out in this on the beach? Oh, yeah. Huh? 
Definitely. I would not recommend wearing a bikini though. You may fry your bottom. Because those seats are aluminum. <laughs> crazy vehicle it's like a super custom humvee convertible we're actually open top it is isn't it yeah i love it That's really crazy looking. Yeah, I'd rock this. i take this to the beach or go downtown. <laughs> I love the wheels. Oh yeah. It's insane. Okay, this would be a fun ride. Bonkers, man. The crazy builds are out here today, y'all. Hot Wheels car show here. We're out here in... Uh, I think it's Hamilton Mill area out here in uh, northeast Georgia, just northeast of Atlanta. Crazy. Look at the tires on this thing. Jeez. Two wheel drive. Oh my goodness. Bonkers. Man, I think they don't even have gauges. What? <laughs> Nuts. R32 GTR. Really clean. Man, that's awesome. Now I would like to meet the owner of this car. There's some modifications done to this. Some aftermarket stuff. I wanted to basically a car that like if the, if the guy who like it's got some back in the day, aftermarket car side day. skirts. Spoiler. Tastefully done though. Real clean R32. I love the R32, but being a big boy, it's tough sitting in them. I'd have to do some aftermarket seats because the the factory seats on these, well, <laughs> my big boy butt doesn't fit very well in them. Let's take a look at the interior here, yo. Guess if you want to check out his GTR, there's his Instagram. Nice. There's parking seats in there. This one, that's nice. Super nice. Really clean R32. Love the mods on here. They're tasteful. They're not overdone. Really nice. All right, we've got an Ecto-1. I think this was going to be the one, the distressed one, the one that's been uh, they found in the original movie. Not the original movie, the, uh, the sequel. Sequel, sequel. Will be the. What? I think it was the third or fourth one. Oh, here we go. There's some information here. Yeah, yeah. Was this one uh, based off the most recent movie, or? Well, actually, the the most recent movie is based off of this one, I believe. That's oh, okay. Vice versa. All right. Yeah, yeah. I started on it right before the movie. 
that right before they started they showed it so it, nice it really it really comes together with the movie coming out yeah, yeah. Was the, I haven't seen the movies. The, the, is the movie car distressed like this, or this more distressed oh, than the yes. movie car? Yeah, yeah. The, the movie yeah, car looks like it's, off, yeah, yeah. It was been sitting in the uh, barn for like thirty plus years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then, whenever they get in, they, uh, you know, they got that restyle, you know, going. So then, whenever I saw it, I'm like, I'm leaving the Pantina because you can't cover up Mother Nature. Oh no, no. That's what I like about it. That's really cool. Now, do you plan on doing any of the modifications they had in the movie, like the chairs and stuff like that, or are you plan on just leaving it as is? Uh, well, well, the interior, I'm going to do a little bit more work in the back. I got, I got a little bit going on back there, but the interior, man, it's going to stay pretty much on. I like my, my low rider feel I have in there. So. Gotcha. Nice. Oh, I love it. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry, sir. Yeah, it's so hard. <laughs> Excuse me, guys. I, my, uh, my big body takes up big space. Oh, that's cool. Oh, we got Slimer back here and everything. Nice. You know, I didn't realize Slimer was that thick. <laughs> really cool. Well, it looks like we got a Civic Type R here. Straight from Japan. Well, where else would it be? Man, this is clean looking. Looks like some tasteful mods to it. <laughs> nice. Looks like we got the Mugen valve cover on here. The red. If I remember correctly, the Mugens were tan, but I think they came with other color options. Could be aftermarket. And it looks like this gentleman got like the long tube headers. Yep. Nice. Mugen strut bar. Really clean car. Of course, it comes with the JDM Recaros that we're used to seeing in here. Right hand drive like it should be. <laughs> you want this car? Yeah! <laughs> Who wouldn't, right? JDM? <laughs> Type R Civic? <laughs> I love this car. You do? You love this car? I do too. It's real nice. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> oh, you got a little car with it? Um, this is not mine, unfortunately. I would if I did have this car here it's nice super clean jdm civic type r really nice what's your name sir hey it's jb granger jb granger and uh this is jb granger's car would you tell me a little bit about it yeah this is the effinator it's a 66 corvair um one thing that's unique about it is uh well everything actually all right well, uh, so it's uh, it's a mid-engine ls3 it's got a mendiola five-speed uh, transaxle in it uh, C5 uh, Corvette uh, suspension underneath it, full uh, full uh, tubular chassis. So, uh, but the grill's the same. Uh, you got air ducting, some extra lights there on the valence on the below the bumper and so forth. Wow. Uh, but obviously the 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 gas tanks up front there, um, and then the wheel wells have been opened up uh, to support the BFG. Uh, and bare brakes uh, system, so that's a uh, Pro Plus uh, 14 uh, rotors there, forge line wheels, uh, the 6P uh, bare brakes, uh, the windshield is, is flush, uh, drip rails have been flush, but the, the one thing that's uh, very unique, it's, it's been made into a hatchback, so the engine's uh, mid-engine, mm -hmm. and um, uh, if all you uh, your viewers out there may remember the original Corvairs had the air-cooled engine in the back here, so the trunk kind of opened up here. Yeah. And obviously, well, the uh, I should say the engine compartment opened up there, and in the front of the car you had a huge uh, compartment up front. So um, it's been uh, changed quite a bit, but this is a car that uh, we run uh, on autocross, uh, the Adrenaline uh, Racing Series, uh, road corsets, and it's also an ultimate street car. Uh, challenge uh, vehicle as well so it's been at SEMA and um, 
love it so nice now i'm assuming the engines underneath this panel here that is correct nice so like the c8 guys the c8 convertible guys they can't see their motor but they know it's there exactly exactly <laughs> it's it's nitrous too it's got a oh, extra wow. shot too so so if you need a little something on the extra uh, down on the straightaways it's ready to go so uh i appreciate you coming by and taking a look at the uh, effinator hey, it's a beautiful car absolutely All right, we're here with Denise here at the Hot Wheel Car Show, and uh, she's going to show me her uh, Mustang GT. Is this a 4.6? Yes, 4.6. 4 nice. It's a 2008, and she's a Mark III custom car. It changes seven colors. She's only got 30,000 miles on her. Woo! It is one heck of a paint job. Look at that. And I'm one of 300 cars. Wow. I'm gonna go check out you said it shows up red on the other side right the red metal flake yes oh wow i can see it changing in the uh the viewfinder here wow that's beautiful i like the ghost flames you got in there too that's yes, nice sir. how hard was it to get those ghost flames to to to, to go with the color shipping it come moving? from ford this way oh, really that, yes a mark three custom built it for ford oh Everything's wow original. Wow. <laughs> Hello. That's okay. What would a car show be without kids? That's all right. And pets. <laughs> Come on. Is it cool? You like it? <laughs> wow, that's nice. I like uh, you didn't go too crazy with the wheels. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I like that clean. You got some meat on them too. I'll raise the hood, let you see under it. Yeah, yeah, let's take a look at it. I like the buff interior, so clean. What year is it? Really nice. Four point six, yo. I don't remember the four point six is sitting up so high. Is there anything particular? Is anything done to this, or is this stock? Four three D over. Ah, thought so. Only thing I added was the code air intake and the strut bar. Everything else is original. Wow. But it is clean and good looking. And thank you for not putting a million pool noodles in there. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> we got an R33. Really clean. Really nice. Some tasteful mods, arc intake. So this is the R33, which has just become legal, I believe, last year to import. This is my personal favorite. I know a lot of people give the R33 a hard time because it's heavier and bigger. But I'm a big guy and the R33 actually fits me. Sans the R32 seats that you got to remove because, yeah, they're too small. At least for me. But sweet car. Are you the owner of this vehicle? Uh, my boyfriend. Oh, oh, he's he's out. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, you should just say it's your car, right? I mean, it's our endeavor, maybe, but primarily his. When did he get the car? Just recently? Uh, yeah, a couple months ago. Nice. I know these just became legal to import. Right, right. Me personally, this is my favorite Skyline. Uh, the R34, I like it, but it's a little too boxy for me. And the R32 is just a little too plain Jane. And this is a little bit bigger frame, bigger body, bigger guy like me. It fits. <laughs> V-Spec. Nice. I would love to get a hold of a 400R, but there's no way you can afford them. I think the last 400R sold for, I think close to like a million or two million or something like that. Yeah, that's super rare. Beautiful. Let me get a little peek in here. Yes, yeah, sir. Let's take a look at the, the engine bay. Oh, that's nice.
Looks like it's custom powder coated. Arc intake. I wonder if that came with it from, from Japan or if that was added on them afterwards. Really nice. R33 GTR, y'all. All right, we got a poor, custom Porsche Safari here. When I mean custom, really custom. I mean, it is custom, custom. Really nice. Take a look inside here. Holy moly. Our race seats. Wow, that's stripped out. I like that. So there's the uh, old crap handle, the old S handle, and that's the old F handle. <laughs> wow. That's badass. Okay, well this is insane. <laughs> I, I don't know what this is, y'all, but um, uh, it's definitely custom. Um, not sure what it is, but uh, it's pretty insane looking. Wow. Okay, that's definitely a Hot Wheels car. <laughs> wow, this thing's insane. Motors. Look at this. Good God. Nice. Well, if you guys hear my commentary, that would be great. If not, you're going to get some regular music on top of it or copyright free music because this guy's playing all sorts of copyrighted music next to this thing. So it is what it is. Screams Hot Wheels. Corvette Stingray with a big ass blower. Look at the paint on this thing, y'all. It is like bowling ball sparkling. Crazy. Look at the detail on that. Super clean interior. Clean R32 here. Really nice. It's in kind of like a really light gray. Really nice one. Interesting two tone tire thing going on. Really clean. Oh, nice. Tell me a little bit about your car. Uh, it's an R32 sedan, 93 Nissan Skyline. It used to be automatic. It was a base model. They didn't look like this before. Uh, they had a full color change, suspension. Um, I got the Drift Boy setup right now. You know, yeah, two different set of wheels. <laughs> used to be automatic. I put an RB25 DET in it and converted to manual. Nice. I painted everything like door jams. Interior's a little messy right now, but hey, you know, all of it's painted. What would a Nissan be without a messy interior, right? I know, right? My Chick-fil-A. You know, Ultima <laughs> gang, you know? <laughs> you mind if I see the motor? Uh, the engine bay's kind of messy right now. Eh, it's all right. I got uh, a couple things going in, like uh, Precision 6262, new intake manifold, injectors. Nice. Grady. I got Grady uh, boost controller, Optima yellow top. Yeah, Toyo Rad radiator. Yep. Man, that's super clean, dude. Looking good, man. Nice and stealthy. 
Well, not to be honest, for people that know it's not stealthy. Yeah. But for people that don't know, it's stealthy. <laughs> when did you get the car? Two days before the shutdown. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> yep. well, you're like, just in time, yeah. right? Nice. Well, it's a beautiful car, man. Thank you. <laughs> well, anyway, that was the, uh, the Hot Wheels car show. Uh, like I said, the winner is going to get their car turned into a Hot Wheel, which is kind of cool. Um, I don't know which one it is. It's too hot. I got to get going. Uh, I can smell my bacon cooking again, so got to go. Anyway, I want to thank you for joining me here at Gears and Gaming. And uh, don't forget to uh, check out some of my other videos, including some of the car content and gaming content, if you're into that. But uh, yeah, I'll see you next time in the next video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm a small channel. I could use your help. And uh, I'll see you next time. Peace.